Hi, I'm Dr. Mary Ann McLaughlin, Director of Cardiac Health and Wellness at Mount Sinai Heart, and it's a pleasure to be here today to talk about exercise and heart benefits. Do people need to walk 10,000 steps a day for optimal health? And if so, why? Well, first I'll start by saying that there have been previous studies that showed that overall risk of death or risk of heart attacks was reduced in people who exercised at least 10,000 steps a day. More recently, just in the last month in the Journal of the American Medical Association was an article looking at those who walked 8,000 steps or more um, and also showed that in 3,000 adults followed for over 10 years, those who exercised at least 8,000 steps a day had reduced death rates. Um, they found that even exercising 8,000 steps or more just one to two days a week um, had a significant reduction in dying from cardiovascular disease or dying period. Um, so this study supports that idea that um, you can, by step counting, have very good effects on cardiovascular health. Is there a lower number people can aim for that would still allow them to achieve good heart health? So we now know that 8,000 steps a day actually is very effective, even just one to two times a week. But in addition, being active at least five hours a week does have health benefits. Anything you know more than being a true couch potato definitely can instru incrementally improve cardiovascular health. Um, and in those people who are similar to those of, uh, those of us who work very long hours during the week and are weekend warriors, those who exercise vigorously on weekends alone can still reduce their risk of cardiovascular um, bad outcomes. So yes, um, you don't have to do 10,000 steps a day per se. Um, any bit of exercise is better than none at all. That is for sure. What are the cardiovascular risks of being too sedentary and how does walking reduce these risks? Importantly, when we look at the risk of heart attack, we look at some major um, risk factors. Um, diabetes is one, hypertension is another, high cholesterol is another, family history of premature coronary disease is another. And so when we look at what does exercise do, we know that exercise improves the vascular health. So the blood vessels are more effectively exchanging oxygen to the muscles and to the brain. Um, we know that exercise reduces obesity and it reduces um, the effects of diabetes on the heart. So both of those by um, reducing um, excess weight and sugar can improve the risk of cardiovascular disease. What walking speed should I aim for to get the best cardiovascular health results? So when we look at intensity of exercise, we actually have different scales that we use in cardiac testing. Um, we know that two and a half to three miles per hour is considered moderate intensity. Um, and that's what we say is equivalent to three metabolic equivalents of exercise or three METs. When people are walking more vigorously, and we call it up to up to four miles per hour, that's considered vigorous exercise. What other exercises will give me similar health results? Importantly, if you don't particularly love to walk all the time, we know that things like bicycling at six to 12 miles per hour um, can reduce cardiovascular events jogging around seven miles per hour rate, swimming 50 yards per minute, tennis, especially singles tennis, um, but I guess we can include pickleball with that and even doubles tennis is, is can be very vigorous exercise. Is there anything else people should know? So importantly, recently in the Journal of the American Medical Association Neurology just this last month showed that those who had a higher number of steps, and they looked at people walking 9,000 steps per day, um, had 
a lower risk of dementia. So for those people who sometimes poo-poo exercise, um, when we talk to them about what the real benefits are in not only um, prolonging life, reducing risk of heart attacks, and also reducing dementia risk now, I think will have a very big impact. Importantly, um, even though we were just talking about walking day, it's walking day and how important steps are and how easy it is to do to, to use um, a, a heart watched Fitbit or anything to monitor steps, it's very important. But also the American Heart Association guidelines have recommended at least 150 minutes per week of moderate intensity exercise or 75 minutes a week for vigorous aerobic activity for those who uh, want to be weekend warriors. Um, we also recommend adding resistance or weight um, muscle strengthening for overall health that helps balance, reduces risk of falls as we age. Um, and anything that's less time sitting is important. Many people are using standing desks and that is actually shown to be a little healthier than sitting all day. So anything that gets everyone off the couch has excellent health benefits. Exercise should be viewed as a preventive medical treatment similar to taking a pill. And that's what we talk about in my office, in cardiology offices everywhere, that it's not just taking several pills a day to reduce cholesterol and to reduce blood pressure and to reduce diabetes risk, but it's also getting active. So the other important part of that is, is eating healthy diets. So you want a healthy diet is one that's lower in saturated fat, higher in vegetables, more of a plant-based diet with healthy meats, including fish and chicken, less of the red meat saturated fats. So I hope you found this helpful and um, go out and take a good walk this weekend.